video, I'm going to be showing you how to do exactly what you guys are seeing on the screen right now. We're going to be using a program called Insta360 to create uh, basically these perspectives, these warping perspectives that go from tiny planets to inverted tiny planets. We'll be able to control the camera and having a 360 camera is really going to come in handy just for creating really interesting and creative effects. It's going to be super simple to do. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, alright, so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create tiny planets and inverted tiny planets using a 360 degree camera. Now these cameras are really awesome, they help you to preserve reality exactly how it was at that given moment. But you can also do other cool stuff like these tiny planet effects. Now this video is going to be aimed at the Xiaomi Media Mi Sphere, which is the 360 camera that I'm using. But if you guys don't have access to this camera and using another 360 camera like the the uh, GoPro Fusion or a Ricoh Theta, it's fine, you guys can still follow along, you'll just have to skip the intro because for the intro, it's going to be focused at the Xiaomi Media Mi Sphere users because I'm going to be showing them how to take these images that basically the camera outputs, these two spheres, and convert it into an equi rectangular image, which is the actual 360 uh, image that you guys see over here. So if you're using another camera, like I said, a GoPro Fusion, maybe you have your own dedicated app uh, that does the stitching for you. So if you've got this image, you can go ahead, skip past this intro, and jump straight to the good stuff, which is creating the tiny planets and warping between different perspectives to create uh, some interesting videos. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I want to mention that the Xiaomi Media Miosphere comes with, with its own dedicated app on the Android and iPhone uh, for actually stitching images together. But I'm going to be doing this on the PC because I find it to be a lot quicker and the apps that we're going to be using are actually free as well. So if you check the description, I've provided links to the two programs we're going to be using. We're going to be using the dedicated Miosphere app as well as this awesome program called Insta360 where we create our tiny planets. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and let's say that you've already taken your photos with your MeSphere camera. You've plugged the, your camera into your PC and you've basically transferred over the picture or the videos to your desktop. So this is what you usually see, right? It's these two spheres. And remember, this is assuming that you didn't do the stitching on the camera app because we're doing everything on the PC. You'll see these two spheres. And this image right now is unusable, right? We need to get it to this state, which is basically these two images stitched together. And this is called an equirectangular image, which is the 360 degree image uh, that we'll be able to use. So in order to do this, once you've got your MeSphere camera app installed on your PC, go ahead and open it up. And it's really easy to do. Just go ahead, go to Browse Files, open folder, go and find this image with the two spheres. Once it's in here, you're just gonna click on Export. And it really is as simple as that. It goes to Completed. And you'll see if I go to the location, you can see my export location over here is in my C drive. There we go. It's basically converted those two spheres into an equirectangular image. And this is good to go. We can now take this image and feed it straight into Insta360. Now you'll do the exact same thing for videos because videos as well, you'll see those two spheres on them and you just use this program to basically do the stitching for you and it stitches it pretty well. I haven't seen any noticeable overlapping or any errors so the Xiaomi Media Miosphere does a really awesome job uh, with stitching. Right, so let's continue. Okay, so just to show you guys, here's an actual video. So if I click on play. So I'm testing the Xiaomi. You can see over here that the entire video has got these two circles on it. So just like I mentioned, I'm going to take this video and go to my MeSphere camera app. I'll go to Browse, go and find that video and basically import it into here. And I just want to make sure I tick MPEG4 and gyro uh, calibration as well. Then I'm going to click on Export. It's going to go ahead and transcode, do the whole transcoding process. And then it will be converted to an equirectangular video. And then in the next step, we'll be taking this over to Insta360 where we're going to have a whole lot of fun and start creating tiny planets and inverted tiny planets as well. Okay. Okay, so it's time for the fun to begin. You guys have got your equirectangular images ready or your equirectangular videos. And this is what the equirectangular video looks like, by the way. This is 360 degree ready. We can go ahead and actually take this into our next program, which is going to be Insta360. So Insta360 is a program dedicated to basically 
uh, applying tiny planet effects or other effects onto 360 videos or photos and it's free by the way uh, which is really really awesome now the program itself the interface is really simple I would say it's actually pretty bare bones but in this case less is more it does what it needs to do and it does it very well now if you guys for any chance maybe you want to head back onto your phone with your eco rectangular images or your stitched images there is some phone apps if you guys are on Android you guys can get your hands on roll world which is also an awesome app for creating tiny planets or if you're on Android you can get your hands on little planet to create tiny planets as well Okay, but since we're doing everything on PC, we are going to be using Insta360 Studio. So, I'm assuming you guys have already gone ahead and installed this program. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I provided a link to this. So go ahead, make sure your program is open, go to your folder with your stitched images. In this case, let's do a stitched image. So this is my stitched image from early on. Just go ahead, drag and drop it into the program. And bam, automatically, it's a 360 degree image, right? So that equirectangular image, you can see right now, can be viewed in complete 360. Now, the interface is really simple. If you want to convert this to a tiny planet, over here, we have some different options. We can see the flat equirectangular image. We can see a rectilinear image, which is their 360 degree image. Uh, we can also see a fisheye effect. And then of course, we'll leave that for last, there's a crystal ball effect as well. But the main one is the little planet. Now, just by dragging up or down like this, basically warps the perspective. So we can have your standard, a tiny planet. And if this is an image I wanted to save from here, exactly like that, you just go ahead and you click on screenshot and it's gonna save it to whatever location you decide. So you can see by dragging down, I'm warping the perspective to an inverted uh, tiny planet and I can zoom in on this and you can see it looks really really crazy and by dragging up we go back to the standardized let me zoom out the standard tiny planet effect and it really is that simple guys uh, so if you wanted to create tiny planets on your PC you now know how to do that with Insta360 alright so let's continue Okay, so I've showed you guys the basics for doing photos and that's basically all you need to know. So I've gone ahead, I've dragged my stitched uh, my stitch video. Oops, I want to make sure that there's no audio playing on here. I dragged my stitch video into Insta360. And if you guys look at this video over here that I recorded, you'll see that it's basically warping between different perspectives, which is really trippy. And I think it looks really cool. And to actually do this is super simple. So let's head back to Insta360. The panel play is going to be a preview of our video. And again, this over here is a full 360 video now that we can view. But if we go to capture, this is where we start editing. So something to keep in mind, we've got a timeline at the bottom. And this yellow mark over here is obviously to scroll through the video. But if I right click on this, you'll see that it says add frame. Now these are adding keyframes, right? So let's say at around two seconds, I want my, and by the way, here's our different effects over here, like exactly with the camera, but we have some other controls as well, the field of view, the distance, but I usually just control that with my mouse. So you can see I can go immediately into a tiny planet, and then if I move this forward, let's say at, at uh, 12 seconds, I'm going to right click, say add frame, and I'm going to select tiny planet again, but I'm going to keep it on tiny planet then I'm going to scroll forward maybe till about 20 seconds right click add another frame and let's do an inverted tiny planet let's zoom out a little bit we'll do something inverted okay and now if I go back and I click on play you'll see we've got the tiny planet right and it's going to remain as a tiny planet and then it's going to start warping slowly into an inverted tiny planet. And that is exactly how I did that. Really simple. Just setting up those keyframes, deciding where you want them to be placed. And that's it. So I could create another frame over here. And maybe we want to go back to, let's say, a, uh, the default view. And maybe I want to go back to just the standard 360 view like that and maybe add a keyframe over here that maybe I want to see what's on the other side and that's all so you'll see now 
it's going to warp out of the inverted tiny planet back to the standard view and then the camera is going to move around and it's going to see what's in front of me so it's really that simple guys and then once you are done you can choose your resolution over here uh, there's some other options like removing purple fringe I've never played around with that you've got the bit rate obviously your output directory and uh, you can even use a logo so if you want to a logo to be visible on your image for whatever reason maybe a company logo you guys can place that there then you're just going to click on export and that's it now the only downside with this is you can't edit multiple videos at once on the same timeline you'd have to do one export then do another one export and then you'll have to merge those together in another program like Adobe Premiere Pro or Camtasia to create one coherent uh, video okay Right, so that's the entire process for the videos, for creating and warping between perspectives. Super easy to do. I hope you guys enjoy that. All right. All right, guys, so now I've showed you the basics for basically creating Tiny Planet photos and Tiny Planet videos. Remember, this is not covering the process for uploading like a 360 video and photo on Facebook. There's documentation out there for that already. And there's documentation out for Tiny Planets as well, but I wanted to show you just quickly how I do it with Insta360 using those stitched images. It's something fun that you guys can play around with and you can create videos exactly like this, uh, which I think looks so unique and so so trippy. Just the fact that it's warping between these different perspectives, I think is really, really awesome. Okay, so that is going to be the end of the tutorial. As always, guys, I uh, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate the support so much. And stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.